Not allowed to shine the ball with saliva anymore, but I've got a few cheeky ways that cricketers can get away with to get that extra shine on the ball, to get it to move in the air. Let's find out what they are on Hogs Vlog. Well, the game has just turned more into the batsman's favour because bowlers can't use the saliva on the ball. They've got to look out other avenues. They're allowed to use their sweat on their arms. But I found other products that they can put on their arms as well, just to help to get a bit of extra shine on the ball. So to go through this little bit of research, I've got three balls, one, two, three balls. And I'm going to use my saliva to see how quickly I can get an old ball with no shine on it to get it up and ready to uh, have that extra shine to help the bowler swing the ball. A little bit of sunscreen. Uh, and then on the final ball, I'm gonna use a little bit of Vaseline and see how it goes. Also, I need a bit of assistance with the old cream. So I'm gonna to have to go and put some creams on and help shine this ball as well. Uh, we've gotta be as authentic as we can. Let's see how we go. After that quick polishing session where we used Vaseline, sunscreen and a bit of saliva, what came out the best? Well, the saliva did a fairly good job, but it was the uh, one that took the longest process to get the bore shining. Uh, the sunscreen was the best. Look at that, shine smooth and it was up and running within a couple of seconds. So I like the impact of sunscreen. And the other thing, with sunscreen, players have to use it to protect themselves from the rays. So it's a product that they can disguise well from the umpires. Whereas Vaseline, on the other hand, yeah, it did a reasonable job, but it's a little bit darker than the other two methods. But it's also still a little bit slippery as well. So that's not going to be good for the bowlers. Now, there are a lot of other products out there that the players can use. But I think sunscreen is the best one to assist the bowlers. So they'll be still able to get a little bit of movement. But when we're talking about saliva as well, I'm just going to dive into one other subject here. If you're not allowed to put saliva on the ball because you're worried about the spread of COVID-19, what about that, those players that are using chewies and bubble gum? Those players like Labashane, Aaron Finch, that blow bubbles while they're batting. When that bubble gum pops, it could just throw those little particles of the virus out towards other players and cause some havoc. So they might have to put the chewing gum away. And when they do spit it out when they're coming off the field as well, it goes on the ground and it affects other players because that chewy ends up on the bottom of players' boots. And what do they have to do at the end of the game? Clean their shoes and get that bubble gum off and it could cause more havoc than good. So, love a Shane Finch. Other players that chew gum, they might not be able to do it in the world of cricket when we come back to normal. Now, hope you like my methods. What other methods have you got to shine the ball? Let's see some very inventive ways to get that ball to swing downstairs in the comments below. I really want to see what you've got for me. Now, if you like what I'm doing, just press that little button. That will give you a notification of when the next video is coming out. And uh, it's not too long before some coaching videos come your way. Stay safe.